Hello and welcome to our new course React Query. What's React Query? React Query is a library for managing and caching and updating remote and local state in React applications. It's specifically desi designed to handle data fetching and state management in a way that is efficient and easy to use. What are the benefits of React Query? First, declarative data fetching. React Query provides a declarative API for, fe for fetching and managing data. You can easily define queries and mutation using hooks, React Query hooks. Caching and state management. The library comes with a caching system, a very good caching system that allows you to store and reuse data. It automatically manages the state of your data, ensuring that stays up to date and is efficiently fetched. Three, automatic refetching. React Query can automatically refetch data based on various conditions, such as when the component mounts, when the component became, becomes visible, for example, or on a manual trigger, okay? Four, optimistic updates. React Query support optimistic update, updates, allowing you to update the UI optimistically before the actual data is fetched or muted on the server. This provides a smoother user experience. Five, the nightmare of beginner developers, pagination and infinite loading. React Query has built-in support for handling for handling pagination and infinite scrolling, making it easier to work with large data sets. DevTools integration. React Query provides a set of developer tools that integrate with the React DevTools extension, making it, making it easier to inspect and debug the state of your queries. And finally, server-side rendering support. React Query is designed to work well with server-side rendering, making it suitable for universal React applications. So now let's install our React Query package. Just type in Google React Query and open that link of 10 stack. Okay. Press on get started. Press on installation. You can use NBM or you can use Yarn. Let's copy this code and open our project in, in our terminal. Just paste the code Yarn add React Query and press enter. Now we have successfully installed our React Query. If you are using iOS, don't forget to install the bots. NBX bot install. That's optional for Android, but it's required for iOS. <sighs> See you in next lesson.